Hello, Amanda. We'll let everybody. Hello, Sister Linda. Hope you had a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. We'll give a few moments and allow everybody to get logged on and, and in here. We're going to have a little bit of an update on our uh, of the past year. And uh, it's really good to see you. Sister Linda, I hope all is well with you. Hello, Jeremy, Brother Jeremy. You all comment when you come in. That way I know who all is here, okay? So I see Brother Jeremy, Sister Linda, and uh, Amanda. So everybody, welcome in. And uh, we're just going to have a brief moment and uh hello thomas welcome in buddy and jimmy welcome in my brother and uh so we're gonna uh we're gonna have a little update i wanted to do it last night but with everything you know all with all the uh festivities going on and and everything uh we i decided to wait for today but uh, uh, doing well I will be bringing Sister Amanda up uh, because she's going to be part of the she's the leader for our women's ministry so together we're going to do this live so Amanda when you got a brief moment let me know and I will uh, pull you up on the live with me as well amen so but anyway uh welcome in guys uh we made it we made it through 2023 amen and uh god has been really good really good to us he's, he's um there aren't enough words to express amen uh, uh the ministry has done really really well uh and so we will talk about that, and we will talk about uh, certain events that's going to happen throughout the year, uh, 2024, and our goals, and what we look forward to in this next coming year. Amen. So uh, I'm going to wait for Amanda. Um, she is over our women's ministry. So in case you're new to this live uh, we um, we do have a women's ministry uh, beside our main ministry, um, and so things are going really well there. Uh, and Amanda will come on in a minute and explain to you how to get to that as well. If you are a lady watching the live and you would like to be in a women's group. Uh, let me know and I'll get in contact or get you to the correct contact. Amen. So, but just want to welcome everybody in. Just wanted to jump on here real quick and do a little live uh, for NHM family. Uh, we are New Harvest Ministry and we have been, um, we have been, we're approaching the one, the one year mark. Uh, August will, will mark our one year anniversary and so we uh, always want to be mindful amen uh, what God intends for us through the year and uh, so I'm going to challenge each and everybody uh, even if you aren't a part of the ministry uh, if you belong to a church in the community uh, be about your father's business amen I can't say that enough uh, make sure that you are being supportive 
of your pastor and your church. And, um, you know, I've learned a lot in the last year. Um, you know, we mature by making mistakes. Amen. Let me start the live out by saying that. Uh, we learn by mistakes that we've made through life. And uh, that's how you mature. You learn from those mistakes and you uh, don't make them again. Amen. So we we have accomplished a lot over the last year. Uh, God has has um, really blessed us and allowed us to to be able to start this ministry. And, and in case you're new on here and you don't know or haven't heard me say, but um, we are a ministry and not a church. Amen. The church is in you and your body. We are, uh, we come together as a family and uh, we are a ministry. It's called New Harvest Ministry. Uh, but there's a lot of New Harvest Ministries, our churches and things. So that's why we call it NHM Family. Okay. So if you're looking on Facebook, you just put in NHM Family and it should take you directly to our group. If you can't find us, uh, contact me or, or my uh, first lady. Uh, she will get in contact with you or, um, you know, get one of our members, um, leave a comment, and, and somebody will reach out to you and help you in that direction. Thomas says, I was confused about all oh, about the name change. Yeah, because a lot of people, there are a lot of new harvest. And so uh, we, that's why we changed, or I changed it to uh, NHM family. Okay, so that clarifies that. So I'm going to pull Amanda up. She can be on the live with me. And uh, we... Um, So, um, I'll go ahead and pull her up, and uh, so Amanda, if you will, go ahead and send an invite so that I can pull you up, but uh, we have several ministries in our community. Uh, we, as this ministry goes, uh, we, we try to support all. Uh, we have Brother Jeremy and his ministry, and... Um, You'll have to remind me again, Brother Jeremy, because I get it all confused and backwards. So, uh, but you have his ministry, who he has also a Facebook group on there, and he does, you know, devotionals and 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 um, time to time goes live, and so the whole matter. Yes, Brother Jeremy, thank you. The whole matter ministry. So go check those guys out. Uh, Sister Linda uh, is part of God's grace, um, and so they're located in uh, Shepherdsville, Kentucky, so go out and check those out if you're in that community, and so uh, there's just so much to get involved in throughout the year, amen, and so um, again, if I miss you, uh, make sure you comment, let me know that you're here. I like to know, I'm not like most pastors, I like to know who all is on and who all is visible, amen, that a way I can, to, that a way I can uh, communicate with you one-on-one, -on -one. amen, I like to know my flock, uh, I think that's very important as a minister, uh, is to know their, their flock, amen, so we'd like to welcome in um, that church that's watching Pinnell, uh, you all guys are a blessing, I watch your lives and uh, the messages that are preached, and you all, you are, are amazing, okay? And so, uh, no, you all don't know me, but uh, we we have been with the River's Edge uh, family for a while, and, you know, we go to their, their uh, scenes, and they're such a blessing, amen? So, anyway, moving forward, um, let's see if I can add Amanda.
All right. Good evening, sis. Good evening. And so uh, we're going to, as a whole, we're going to discuss our ministry. And if I miss something, uh, feel free to uh, jump in and say whatever it is that I miss. But again, we are glad that we made it through 2023 and moving forward into 2024. And so God's got a plan for us as a ministry. And uh, Amanda's going to discuss our word. Hello, Kimberly. Uh, welcome. In. And, and so, um, you know, if you come, come in, let me know you're here so we can welcome you in. And uh, we want everybody to feel feel free and and, um, and and so that we can love on you in in one way or another. Amen. So what's our word for the year, Amanda? Our word of the year is going to be growth. Growth. Amen. And could you explain to me why that the word growth was was selected? Uh, because I feel that uh, we're going to really grow as a ministry and membership and, uh, you know, all the different areas, uh, the work that workers that we have behind the scenes, uh, in front of the scenes, whatever. We're going to really grow this year. Amen. And, and, you know, not just as a ministry, but personal growth. Uh, personal growth is important. Uh, we are going to teach and mentor and we're going to love each and everybody that comes in to our ministry and and we're going to um, disciple those that come in and and teach them on how to live and be as close to god as possible amen so i selected the word growth for a reason uh, not only for our ministry, but a personal. That was, that is my word for the year for me. And so I selected that as a word for our ministry. Um, and so we want to grow uh, not only on our walk, Amanda, in life, whether it be through a business that we're working or whatever, but our spiritual walk with God. Uh, you know, uh, with our families. Um, hello, Shannon Lee. I hope all is well with you. And so, so again, uh, our word for the month, Amanda, our for the year is what? Growth. Growth. Mm -hmm. Amen. And so you're going to hear that quite a bit over the next year. Uh, and And so, but anyway, moving forward. Uh, so I know you you have shared this many of times, but um, so now you you have another hat that you put on, and you you was voted in and selected as the um, uh, um, the person over our women's ministry here at New Harvest. So uh, as a leader of these lady these ladies what is your goal or your word for for the year <laughs> we're also going to be using the word grow um, because it is our mission and go to help these ladies grow in all areas amen not not just spiritually but all areas of their life amen amen and and so how how do you personally intend to grow in 2024? Well, we, well, I personally am doing personal development. Uh, I've been on that journey for several years now. Uh, and also increasing my Bible studies. You know, of course, be in our Bibles when we wake up and before we go to bed. And for me personally, I do it one time a day. Um, so I'm going to be increasing that. Okay, and so you think that that's going to um, draw you closer? You're going to be more focused on your walk uh, spiritually. Yes. Yes. Okay, and that's a good idea. That's a good idea. And so, uh, not only shall we grow in our Bibles, but I think that our prayer life 
uh, that's my my uh, goal for the year is to get closer in prayer, spend more time pr- praying for for not just myself, but for everybody uh, as a whole. Uh, you know, not just our ministry, but but multiple ministries that's in the community, churches, pastors, whatever position that you hold. Um, praying is is a very valuable thing. So what we've been doing, guys, uh, we have been and Amanda can share a little bit of what she's learned um, throughout the day. Um, Shannon Lee says, I plan on making a Bible study grow a oh, group. I'm, I'm sorry, it's the, the letterings are blending in. So she says, I plan on making a Bible study group and starting that 15 to 30 minutes a day going live in a group online. Okay, so that'll be a need. I'll be uh, be interesting. Hello there, Mama. Welcome in. Um, so what we've been doing, guys, uh, is we started what Amanda is. This our second week now, our second turn. Uh, we we have been doing a Bible uh, leadership training, and uh, so where I gather with my leaders that are in uh, in positions, and we will uh, we we go through things that to help them grow as being leaders. So we've been using this group. This book here was given to me by my brother-in-law. It's 101 Leadership Insights, and so it's really, really good. Um, It gives you practical tools, tips, and techniques for new and seasoned leaders. So I believe that you're never too old to learn something. And so uh, we have been in that now. Uh, And so, Amanda, you want to share with maybe some of the notes you took or or, or give me some things that you have learned or, or something that stuck out to you during those times. Well, I, what I've learned is uh, about identifying yourself as a leader. And, you know, it's important to remember that you do not have to hold a position or be a certain rank in a company to be a leader. Um, if you lead yourself daily, um, you are a leader. Everybody's a leader. Amen. So that's what. That's my biggest takeaway. So being able to identify yourself as a leader, regardless if now we're not just talking about spiritual, but you're talking about in everyday life. That's yeah, that's correct. And so, <clears throat> you know, that's why we do things like this, guys. We 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 not only just want to be at church on Sundays. It's, it's more to to life. Uh, there's more outside the walls of a church, uh, learning how to to live, live daily as a Christian. A lot of guys, what happens a lot of times, those guys, is this. We get into a church house or a church building, and we get saved, and the church forgets about us. Guys, that, that's so common. Uh, we just become a number <clears throat> on their books. And so that's why we focus on our members so much. That's why when we do our lives, uh, Sister Amanda, we we try to acknowledge those and and make sure that we love on them and let them know that they're loved and that we care for them. And so we want to continue. That's why the word growth comes into mind this year. We want to be focused on that. And so, uh, but uh, if you want to be a part of that leadership i'm only doing it with my leaders but uh you know if you want to be a part of that um get with sister amanda and she will lead you to the right direction um amanda you have several hats that you wear uh on the daily don't you and so yeah could could you take a moment and just uh explain what all it is what types of hats that you wear throughout the day well, as far as ministry-wise, I'll start with ministry first. Uh, I, I'm over the women's ministry, uh, and when Pastor Mike asks for assistance with the main ministry, I'm always there to help. Uh, I also run a business during the day. Mm-hmm. You know, we all got personal lives that we have to deal with, and I'm doing all that stuff. 
I mean, we were just discussing this today. I got a whole calendar, guys. I got a calendar and a weekly planner that I sit down and I write all my stuff out. I got several hats in there. <laughs> Amen. Could you read that comment? Amanda? I don't know if you could see that better or not. Welcome in, JJ. I don't. I. Uh, she Shannon says, even the outside or even outside the walls of the church, we need to praise God each day and focus on the word. Even, hold on, even throughout the week as well, and that focus on growth and how we should live as Christians. Amen. I agree with that. That's right. And so that's why that's what we want to teach people. Uh, see, a lot of the problem. Sister Amanda is, you know, as I said earlier, we get them in the church, we get them saved, but then we don't teach them, we don't disciple them, we don't mold them, <clears throat> and then we talk about them if they leave the church. And so that's what we want to not do. We want to love on them, we want to monitor them, we want to mentor them, and we want to teach them. So that's what our main focus here at New Harvest is. So. Uh, I do notice that there are six watching, so if I miss somebody, please drop a comment down there and let me know. If I don't catch you, uh, Sister Amanda will. So if I have missed anybody, I think I have said hello to everybody uh, that, that's here, that's live. I can't really tell. <clears throat> they don't give me a name on who's here. Uh, looks like Linda McCall, Jeremy Buckner. Uh, and Brother Jimmy, and it says Lee Hogan, which is my mama. So we want to welcome her in, and uh, but in Shannon. So, but anyway, uh, one of the things that I want us to focus on this year, Amanda, uh, as far as a ministry, uh, not only growth, uh, but um, you know, I want us to to work on uh, praise. And what it means to praise. Uh, uh, a praise is something between you and God, you and the Lord. Um, because the Bible says, Amanda, that if if you personally don't want to praise him, that the rocks will cry in your place. And I don't know about you, but I don't want anything uh, stealing my blessings that God has for me. And so if I if I'm the only one in the church house or in the ministry that wants to praise God, I'm going to do that because I don't want to miss my blessings. Amen. And not only that, when you praise him, you're showing God that you love and care for him and you're thankful for all of the things that he's he's done for you. So we have been blessed here at NHM family. Not only do we have our our uh, regular ministry, we have our women's group uh, that Amanda is in charge of and doing a mighty fine job. So if you went on the group earlier, I posted, you can see our stats for the for the month. And uh, uh, we are up quite a bit uh, with comments and posts. And I forget what. The third one was, but uh, anyhow, you know, I want to thank everybody who, who who does monitor and post and comment on things that are being posted in that group uh, that comes on the lives and post and comments and shares. Uh, you know, um, I know it's not, not about numbers, but, you know, that is a way if you're not in person uh, you can be supportive of of our ministry is by making comments and and talking to us and communicating with us. So we want to uh, say thank you for everybody who who, um, who posts post and makes comments. Uh, our numbers are looking great. I think one of them was at twenty five percent up. So that's that's even that's good. Uh, but even though we don't want to be settled, and man, we want to keep growing. We want more comments. We want more posts. We we want to see more action. Okay, and so we want to keep letting those groups or our our comments and stuff grow. Uh, we are at fifty members as of right now. Uh, 
you know, uh, so we're we're doing great. Amen. As of, as of uh, just a few minutes ago, we are sitting at 50 members. And, and that's all because of God. We don't we don't get the glory. We don't, we're not going to steal the praise from him. OK. And so um, is there any activities? Amanda, I, I know this was a surprise jump on here, but um, so if you could take just a brief second and just explain to people in case there's a lady in here who who doesn't know who you are, of course, and then how to get to your ministry page or group. Uh, just take a second and explain to them how they get to it so that they know how how to uh, come and, and uh, be a part of your lives as well. Okay, for those that don't know me, uh, of course, uh, I'm Amanda Edsel. I am over the women's ministry. Um, I don't have a link handy right now, but it's on my phone. So if you want to drop a comment below or message me uh, or even contact one of these members, they can always get a hold of me and I can send you over the link and we'll get you right in. Amen. Amen. So if you're if you're here and you want to check that out or or, you know, whatever, then drop a comment. And if you if you message me. I will definitely forward it to Amanda so that she can make the proper assessment. OK, uh, something that we are going to do differently uh, this, this year. Um, now, guys, we know that this that God intends for us to have order. OK, and so in order to have order, there has to be a leader. OK, and. Um, so with that, that being said, um, I will be monitoring just a little more heavier, okay, excuse me, on our post. And uh, hello, D. Welcome in, buddy. I will be monitoring our post a little more heavier. Uh, I will be monitoring our lives just a little more heavier, okay. Um, want to keep in mind, guys, when you're on live, you want consistency. Brother Thomas spoke about that in one of our business meetings. Uh, be consistent. Don't don't allow too much quiet time uh, in in your lives. Be consistent. Know what you're going to say. Uh, Amanda's a good note taker, and she she um, she you know she takes notes and writes things down maybe before she goes live. So that way she's organized and she knows exactly what she's going to say when she comes on or at least have a basic outline of what you're going to do. OK, the other thing, too, um, that we're going to do differently. Um, if you um, I don't think anybody's an admin except for me and the first lady, uh, but we will be monitoring those that are added to the group uh, just a little closer. Um, you know, may even have some questions for them because you want to know your people. Hey, Amen. You want to know who is being a part of what you got going on. OK. And so um, we're just not going to add you just because you want to be added. OK. I just want to make sure that you are lined up, uh, that you are uh, in it for the right reasons. OK. Um, the the other thing, and, and uh, also, Amanda, I'm going to go ahead and have you, thank you for coming on, and uh, thank you for sharing with us about the women's ministry, and uh, that is the other thing that I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be monitoring the women's ministry along with Amanda just a little bit tighter, okay? Uh, and, you know, you ladies that are in it, uh, you need to be supportive. You need to be in there making comments as well on posts that are things that are being said. OK, um, but it looks great, Amanda. You're doing a really good job. Uh, Mom did an excellent job, uh, you know, on her lives and, and your lives that you do very detailed. Uh, and so uh, you will probably see me a little more often now in that. Uh, more active into the women's ministry as well. So, but uh, anyhow, uh, we're going to go ahead and let you loose. 
and uh, do appreciate you jumping on here and uh, being a part of this with us. Thank and you. uh, you. you're, you're quite welcome. And so, guys, you know, I think it's important that that we, um, you know, it is important that uh, Brother D, don't you go nowhere. Um, fixing to pull you up as well. If you have a moment, uh, want to talk to you just for a moment, a brief second. But anyway, so we got a lot going on in our ministry. I mean, we got a, a lot of things going on. We got our yearly um, year anniversary coming up in August. And uh, so we're going to be um, planning for that. And, uh, you know, we do have have our lives every Sunday morning at 11 a.m. Central Standard Time. For those that are on Eastern Time, that'll be 12 your time. Um, and so if you can't make the live, you can always watch the replay. Amen. So, but anyway, uh, whenever you're ready, Brother D, or if you have a moment, I'd like to pull you up so that we can uh, have a word with you and you can kind of uh talk to to all of us but um this I, my goal for this year is to do more of these amen so that you all see not only do we uh not only uh do we do live on sunday mornings but uh you know we have our leadership training that we're doing uh walking through the book with our leaders um not only am i going to be doing that but we're going to have uh, prayer time and um, you know different things throughout the week going on um, you know we, we have too many leaders in our ministry not to have something going on uh, throughout the week now I realize that a lot of us we have jobs that keeps us from doing what we want sometimes but um, Amen. but but you know that that there's always somebody uh, that can do something for the Lord. Okay, so we we have been walking through uh, this book, this one-on-one -on -one leadership insights, and and it's not just spiritual, guys. It's it's for your everyday job as well. And so, um, you know, we have had several challenges throughout this last year, and uh, I'm sure. Uh, if we took time out, we're not going to, but if we took time out to discuss some of those challenges, uh, we we definitely uh, have been through some as a ministry. So, uh, but anyway, um, you know, Brother D, he, he, he has a full-time job, not only uh, working, but raising a child and, and having a married life and, 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 and a ministry. In a, in a church of his own that he works with and, and several things he had also as a person who has several hats that he puts on in the day and, and so um so we just want to be mindful if you reach out to one of us and we don't respond right off the bat you know just keep that in mind that you know uh we have several things that we do throughout the day so my phone uh, goes off a lot, uh, not only dealing with, with the ministry, but other churches that call and talk or pastors call and talk. And and so I think it's important that we, we stay in contact with each other, uh, if not every day, at least once or twice a week. And, uh, you know, Brother D, he, he tries to come on. There's my little nephew, Bubby. And so, um, you know, just want to be mindful of that, and and uh, so I'm going to give, give D just a moment. If you you know, if you've got something do you want to share with us, or you know, anything that I missed that maybe needs to be said. Um, well, listen. First of all, honor to you know you, Pastor. Um, you know, all of the churches, um, leaders. And you know, so on and and um, um, so forth. Uh, yes, as you you know, um, um, you know, have 
said I'm very busy, but it is for God's use. Mm -hmm. So, so I make um, sure that I tithe out of, um, you know, my, my time. Man. That's say whatever huge thing tithing out of your time. So okay. I am um, active at a, my local right church. Amen. I am act, I'm active at at my district, which is made made up probably about like six, seven of us churches, and Amen. then I am you know also active in the church as a whole statewide and mm -hmm. now i'm active in the church nationally which is worldwide so gotcha. so i have chosen to just you know tithe my my time um we are often busy with you know life but each each day at at like noon is a you know time of prayer yeah. for myself like i make sure whether it be 10 minutes 15 minutes or you know listen in an hour you know also take there are quiet times so no. you know let's say that uh you know um you know you are at right work right board you know, listen, put in a sermon series, you know, you know, um, just, just put it in when, uh, you know, you are able to, we are, you know, God's children. So it is a true daily conversation. If, if we, treated our wives like we treated like we treated God, we would all be we would be divorced. <laughs> we, we, so we, we, we go days without Man. talking to him. We go with days without whatever saying please or what thank you. Like we we just we we you know often um um use him as a genie right that's right sure, daddy if yeah. i'm hurting i'm in trouble here take him he's having a fit oh, what he's doing hey, if i am hurting i'm in trouble <laughs> there's a sickness there's a need oh we run the prayer but if we are already each day praying, which is just having a a talk with him, you don't have to pray like Brother D. Wow. I don't know people are like Brother D. You can just pray, pray, pray. That is my ministry. That's yeah. what I do. That's what you, you know, do. I, yeah. could, I could lay out in the floor. I'm I'm a Pentecostal, so I could. We, could, <laughs> we I am used to like us, you know praying for like three days in a row and we just lock in at the church and just take your turns for 72 hours. But I'm saying if you talk to him each day, you know, you know, whenever there is uh, death, sickness, whether you are short on, on your rent, your bills, you have already stored up. Amen. Favor with them, so it is easier for for whatever him to 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 guess what move on your behalf. Think That's about right. Job. Devil said, "Lord, let me what I'm having. God, let me have it." God said, "Nah, not not yet." Job is righteous. He's a righteous man. You know, he just he prays. You know. You know, it gives me, you know, you know, mine. So he came back and said, let me just, just if you just whatever, let me touch him. Nice. He, 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 he won't whatever do any of this. So 
God had faith. You, you got to, there's a point. God had faith, faith. in Job. Amen. For the fact that Job had what? Faith in God. You got to catch that. So he told him, you can do everything but kill him. So mm -hmm. he would have lost his, what? His farm, business, children, his associates came ar around and said, Mike, you done done something wrong. Mm -hmm. You done something wrong, Mike. Just give it up. What have you done? Mm -hmm. And he said, I'm nothing. I've just been faithful. His, his, his own wife said, just curse curse or to God and and die. Right. What she was saying was blaspheme mm -hmm. so that so that what he will literally kill you and then you are guess what out of your pain. Right. People don't, don't people don't want to get that. But he knew that listen, God was faithful through it all right. and then after that he what he got everything back 100 times fold so he got better cattle better children i don't want to say better children but he he got children again and, and so it is about you know about having our prayers and our praise and everything in a Christian savings uh, account. Amen. And then when, when, when you would ever need it, you just listen, you can tell God, if mm -hmm. it's the truth, you can tell God, God, I, I've been faithful. I've been faithful in praying, working, leadership and praise. I need you to move for me. Amen. That is scriptural. There, right. David, Jonathan, the apostles all did it. Mm -hmm. They, they, mm -hmm. they all told what of God their resume right. and what you know. God's like, okay, I got you. So I think that what if even me, you know, this year I, I, I want to be more. Active Active with the prayer times, mm -hmm. you know, with you all, you know, I I want you to what find a, a day and a time and just to be like, listen, but be be on whether it be Tuesdays at what noon, whenever I, I want you on every 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 you know what I'm saying Tuesday at, at noon or whatever. Go is to to what be better husbands, fathers, mothers, and wives and humans yeah and and what we we are all different yeah. one uh that i would have loved seeing you know like you know go you know is brother thomas yeah because he just you know he just is just so quiet and meek but but he has such wisdom yeah. and he you know so i just be like ah oh, man <laughs> like like you know i'm just like man and it's yeah. listen and listen, Mama has just such just aged knowledge, right. and you know think about Amanda, Jim. I mean, they are always quick with the with the prayer or a word. Like everything that the church needs is is what it here. Right. We right. as a whole have to just use it. Yeah. And the thing with it's like there there are times we are like, well, it is just, you know, regular, regular, regular. But the thing about it is churches grow after whatever God's moved us out of the way. That's right. So, so, so you all have to keep having service, mm -hmm. keep being mm -hmm. faithful, keep having right. faith to be because this is a training mm -hmm. ground so that what listen, when he does draw in folks everything's in in order that's right everything runs smoothly because let me whatever tell you it is a proven fact that the preacher word doesn't first draw folks in 
People don't right. don't don't want to join a whatever new whatever church for the whatever preached word. There is three reasons: great music. I mean, it, it, it's it's a fact. Friendly people that are that's right that are weekly showing themselves friendly. Whether you have an attitude at home, fighting with your husband, bills are are behind we must make a choice to leave that in the park a lot right. and, and uh, then the whatever third things care and concern for their families that's it so so if 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 us as a whole which is focus on getting service just move and what it, it has been going amazing yeah. Everybody has is, is finally, you know, getting their listen, <laughs> bearings down. And then we have to have learned how to have love each each other, flaws and all. And then right. it is harder because there are family units. Mm-hmm. But there are times we're going to have to take Michael, as I call it, Michael from uh, being brother, son to being pastor. Sometimes mm-hmm. we're going to just have to move it out, out, out of the way. Jim, we're going to have to, you know, you know, take him from being father, husband, <laughs> fiance, husband to listen, pastor Jim. Sometimes we we just have to literally switch off hats, and it's and it takes time. But yeah. but when these newer folks come in, they are they're watching us. That's it, all the time. So 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 what? Any rift, any eye roll, any attitude, any huff or puff? These sort of new folks are looking for any reason to say that's why I I don't go to church. That's but, right. Right. They go everywhere, where, whatever else. With the, listen, people who are uh, not not perfect, they go right. to to the listen. <laughs> they go to a restaurant where the food's made wrong all the time. They go to the listen car, listen dealer, you know who 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 has sold thousands of lemons. They even go to to the actual hospital where where they have oftentimes, you know, given people wrong medication. That's so whatever it. they they are looking for a, a, a reason to to a tell God that is why I am not faithful is because because Mike and Jim, you know, looked at each other side side eye. Mm-hmm. So so what. This year, let's just love harder, right. work harder, and then I am with the pastor's blessing. If I am with wrong here, whatever, let me know. I'm challenging everybody to 10 minutes a day. Take 10 minutes. That's a drive to and then from work. That is a, you know, listen. I'm challenging you to put put on a, a Bible verse reader. They're even on YouTube, or you could just put a uh, book of, you know, whatever, you know, John, and then it'll read it to you. Un whatever. Till we we train our ourselves to just give him that set time every day. We won't go further. So I, I'm just saying, just take 10, 10 minutes a day, turn on Facebook, YouTube, CMT, TBN, whatever it may be. Just even driving back and forth to work. Just if you would have known it is from here to here, Kroger, from like here to here, that is 10 minutes. You aren't doing anything. Put on something that whatever links you to him. And, and I promise you, if you do that, things from a, you know your um, viewpoint get better. Now, listen, life 
is it's the exact same. You're going to whatever have have the exact same problems, mm -hmm. issues, and bills. But how how you view them and then react to them will totally change if you just, you know, make a point to put on something with the word. Yes, music is amazing, but we are saved through through the what preached and what written and, you know, read word of, of God. I yield back, sir. So, you know, again, we, we do appreciate you jumping on with us. We know that, that you have a busy life and a lot of things you, that you do. Um, and like I said, you know, I want everybody is, is uh, if you're a part of this ministry, you, even if you're not, uh, that was a challenge for you as well. Uh, you know, to, to take 10 minutes, you know, now he, he's took it easy on you. 10 minutes is not a long period of time. Uh, but if you start out with 10 minutes and then you will eventually grow in that area, that's part of that word growth that we're going to use throughout the year. So, um, you know, and, and let's be mindful. Ten minutes is nothing. If ten minutes is nothing, then it should be easy for everybody to accomplish that goal. So, uh, Brother D has has challenged us guys to to ten minutes a day of of prayer time, and that that is. Um, I don't know that I can get all my prayer done in ten minutes, to be honest. But uh, you know, but that's just the challenge that he has set forth. And we're going to honor that challenge, okay? And so, uh, you know, I am going to ask that, you know, you take things serious. Uh, take that 10 minutes serious, whether it's quiet time, you're sitting alone in, in, a, in, a, in, a, in a place where nobody can bother you. Uh, or if you have a spouse, guys, if you're married, uh, grab your husband or wife and spend that 10 minutes with them praying together in in. You know, I, I have noticed, you know, being married, being in a marriage life, it's a different challenge. Jesus. It comes with different things. Jesus. And and so and so, you know, but I but I have noticed, Brother D, that, you know, when we take time out, whether it be a few moments or whatever, uh, then the marriage seems to go a lot easier when you allow God to be a part of it. And, and so that's what the first lady and I, we, we try to do uh, every day is just take a moment and, um, and just make sure that we're acknowledging him. And so it does seem to help. Now, now you're still going to, like Brother D said, even though you do that 10 minutes, you're still going to have those challenges. You're still going to have everything that, 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 that there is. Mm -hmm. um, Shannon Lee says, uh, yes, me and my husband pray together and sing together 20 minutes a day. So that's great. Yeah. That's Pastor Mike. So when you would ever have a prayer time, choose how you pray. I, mm -hmm. I would ever pray vocally out loud. I'll pray and sing. But there are people like, you know, listen, my own who she will journal prayer she'll put on yeah. music on and just journal to to him yeah. um my um let's see my her um who is it um mom she'll walk a whatever loop okay. at a track and then pray while she's walking her mile there Amen. is no set challenge bishop That's it. my bishop cuts like he has got acres and acres of, of um land. Mm -hmm. Right, Amanda, right. Like I said, it's different from um, Amen. But like him, he will cut acre or or whatever ish every day so that he has quiet prayer time uninterrupted on a tractor. Amen. So long as you are setting it as okay, I will be walking 
but but I'm praying. I will be journal or even sit there with your eyes closed, TV turned off. The like hardest thing for me is to I have to literally get away from my phone so that yeah. when I don't I don't whatever look at the text text messages or the in, incoming, but just find your your peace, whether it's like, like I said, Amanda said she is a silent prayer. She's a thinker, you know, mm -hmm. and, you know, figure out what helps you and then him talk. And then you don't have to pray like I pray. Oh, kind, gracious, heavenly father, thou who right. made the heaven and the earth, thou who holds all things in, in your hand. You just say, Lord, I've had a day today. Mm -hmm. It's been rough. I'm tired. But I thank you for life. Amen. I'm well. I'm going to eat. And then, so a prayer should 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 always whatever open up with, with you saying sorry first. Yeah. That, that's the main thing. Get everything off you from that day. Lord, I was rude mm -hmm. today. I'm trying to work on it. Right. Lord, you know, I was listening short with the whatever wife kids <laughs> help me work on it lord uh you know i just i've had a road rage help me work on it. nothing just major but you're just getting everything out of the way and then right. you will thank him god mm -hmm. i thank you just for life health strength you know my wife my kids my family my job my bills that are listen lights are on the bill, the bill may be late, but I still got lights on right now. I thank you for it. And then, and then what? We'll ask him, Lord. I need you to just move, God. Help me with, you know, you know, family issue, sickness, my job, you know, me being what nicer to you know, whoever, my kids, my wife. And then after you let her in, you just thank him again for it, God. I thank you for for just hearing me out. I think you're just loving me. Amen. That's the whole circle. We're going to tell yeah. him, oops, <laughs> I'm sorry. Thank him for what what I whatever have now. Ask him for what what I need. And then what, thank him for for whatever, doing it in advance. Sure. And then you, you're done. If you just follow that, that would have little, you know, <laughs> that, that like will you will literally look up and be like man i've been praying for 30 minutes and i i didn't even know you know write it down on the list there are folks right. that, that have like a, a literally prayer notebook and they just go through and just through the day right right down oh, you know mom um brother jim uh the church uh women's ministry uh Joe, Ricky, Amanda, Cheryl. So, so that it's easier for for you every day to just go down your your list. So, Amen. don't uh, be afraid of of um. You know, listen, prayer, pray <laughs> your way, pray your way. But I'm um, trust me, if you just talk to him, mm -hmm. things will burdens lighten up burdens lighten up and in this year and in this year if we're going to grow find a building have um have outreach god wants us to edit whatever at least prove that we can pray and then that what we will love whom whomever he Brings us That's white, amazing. black, Mexican, pigeon toe, tall, skinny, bald, or, or fat. Once, once we have have sort of conquered our our own attitudes, God will lay everything down for us. Building goals and right. music and and what he, and then you're gonna what look up and say, where did all of these people? come from we got to rent a building mm -hmm. we got to rent a building so 
yeah, I just wanted to, you know, you know, leave off with that. And I appreciate you, sir, for well, your time. Well, and and like I said, we we do appreciate you and taking time out and coming on with us and say hello to the to to the to the wife for me. I will. She's up her yeah. now. Yeah. Wrapping her hair. Okay. Well, uh, make sure you give my nephew a big old hug for me. I will. Uh, he just ate and, burgers uh, and with ice cream. Uh, well, he's good to go then, isn't he? Yeah, I hope so. <laughs> All right. All right. We love you all. Thank and, you uh, all. For and then yeah. when you would ever have a prayer time set, yeah, uh, you let me know. And then I will be obedient Amen. to what? follow through. Amen. Thank you all very right. much, D. Yes, sir. So, again, guys, we're just so thankful for everybody. Uh, coming on i know this was a little bit longer than i really intended it to be but i do thank everybody for coming on uh just know that uh, the first lady and i we send our love to you amen and if we can if we can be a helping hand to to anybody uh just reach out to us guys we we, we try to do our best uh just understand that we are humans amen we we do uh make mistakes and 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 uh and we learn from those but as as brother d said if you if you just take a moment of your time 10 minutes is just a moment uh of your time and pray talk to god and let him know uh you know i i I'm not just saying this because she's on here, but since Delinda is a good example, uh, those that know her, uh, you know, she's a she's a pretty quiet lady. But, you know, you can learn a lot from a quiet person. And she gets in that church building and she's, you know, she's loyal. She's uh, very faithful. And, and, and so we all want to work towards uh, towards that. Amen. We always want to make sure that we are or uh, doing what is called for. OK, so I'm going to go ahead and jump off of here. We love you all and do not forget the word of the year growth. May God bless.